wait for those balloons, Pep. Uh-oh. Come on, Pep. We've got to go get those balloons. Best plot ever. Hey guys, it's Colorful Artie, and welcome to what is probably going to be an incredibly boring Let's Play, Puppa and Pep's Balloonorama, the first of the Junior Arcade games. So in the past, all the humongous entertainment games I've played have been uh, point-and-click adventure games. This one's a bit different. This is more like an old-style arcade game. Hi, I'm Puppa. Welcome to Balloonorama. Are you ready to play a game? If you want to start at the very beginning of the game, you click on this button here. If there's an old game you want to keep on playing, all you have to do is click on this button. And this is really great. You can make and then play your own levels. This is where you click when you want to build new levels. If you want to make changes to levels you've already built, click here. If you want to play one of the levels you built yourself, this is the spot to click. Have fun playing! Capture them! Notice he conveniently left out the quit button, but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. So let's start a new game! So, first we have to type in our name. Our name is Hardy. Actually, just... Darn it, color for Hardy doesn't fit. So, what also cool, you can change the letters. Or the letters color, rather. So I think I will add a little art to mine. Oh yeah. And we're gonna hit go. So, there are 120 levels, spoiler alert, so there's quite a few. Thankfully the levels are very short. Also, there's a junior helper down here, which uh, you can put on easy catch, which as far as I know really doesn't do anything, or never lose pep, which gives you infinite lives. I'm not a junior, so I'm gonna try to do it without that. But if your name is like Sir Charles Jr., then oh, this is for you. Play? You can go ahead and pick a level to start with. If you want to go to the lower level, click on the down button. Or if you want to go to one of the higher, harder levels, then click on the up button. But remember, you can only go up to the highest level you've played before. When you're ready to play, press the go button. If you want to leave the screen, then just click on the stop button. Good luck! Thanks. So let's start. Enough of the pop dialogue. So this is the first world. Ready to do something really fun? <laughs> so this is kind of like Breakout, if you guys are familiar with that. So you can move Pup Pup around, and then when we click, Pup Pep is going to get launched out, and he, the goal is to pop all the balloons. Also, if you hit Pep when he, at uh, like an angle, he will go at different angles. After the first initial launch, Pep will go higher. And as you notice, when he touches a balloon, he pops it and bounces off of it. If you can hit more than pop more than one balloon in one go, you can get bonus points. And you get that nice little fanfare at the end of each level. Come on, Pep! There's plenty to pop! <laughs> so the levels are extremely simple right now. We only have one type of balloon. They're different colors, but they're the same type. So yeah, the goal for each level is just pop all the balloons, and yeah, you'll see I popped both those balloons in one hop, so I got a little two coin that gave me two extra points. So as an arcade game, the goal for this game is to get a ton of points, and honestly, for me, I'm just trying to beat Come the game. On, if you have a game over, your point counter pop. resets, but your highest score stays the same. So now we get these little smiley face Walmart guy balloons, which function the exact same as regular balloons. And as you can see, I hit three in a row and got a much bigger bonus. Getting combos in this game, especially in the early levels, is tough because there aren't that many balloons. Also, if you hold the click button when you catch Pep, he'll get launched and he'll go farther horizontally. Just something cool to look out for. Ready to do something really fun? So here, if we play this, or if we time this right, we can get a, a pretty decent combo. So let's try to angle Pep. Not quite like that. So if Pep's traveling in one direction, watching him in the other direction can be tough. So let's see how big of a combo we get. Only two, darn it. Make sure you catch Pep, because if you drop Pep, you lose a life. Yep. 
Yes, there are 120 levels of this. The levels do get more interesting, though. Also, as Humongous Entertainment always does, fantastic music. Okay. Come on, Pep. There's plenty to pop. So this level introduces us to polka dot balloons. If we pop polka dot balloons, candy pops out. Getting the candy will give you extra points, but make sure you also catch Pep. Each candy, I believe, is worth 50 points, which is quite a bit. But it's important to note, if you do do the bounding leap, as I like to call it with Pep, he won't go quite as high. Doom, 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 doom. So each, there are a bunch of different worlds in this. Each world is 10 levels long. So as you can see, this is kind of like the outskirts of Car Town slash like Pup Pup Park or whatever. We can see Car Town off in the distance, but we're still in the grassy path where Pup Pup lives. And the worlds get more intricate as well. But the game does a nice job of just starting you off nice and simple. Also, this is definitely a game where I'm going to have to really make my commentary interesting or else people are going to lose interest after the first two videos. Ooh, Bonk. If you move a little bit before you catch Pep, that'll launch him further in the direction you're moving. Also, there's that exit balloon. You can click on that and go back to the main menu if you want. Some polka dot balloons will have more candy than others. Also, making Pep do that will cause him to ricochet off the balloons a bit further. Generally speaking, though, it's better to do the regular bounce. Alright, pink and white balloons. We can do this. Yeah, easy catch is supposed to make it easier for Puppa to catch Pep. I really don't know how it works, though, because in my experience, it makes no difference. I could just be missing something, though. Pup and Pep's Balloonorama, starring Sonic the Hedgehog. I was heavily debating whether or not to even do this one, just because it's a bit on the boring side for a junior arcade. The other Pup Hut Junior Arcade and the, one of the Freddy Fish ones are both very fun and more, much more interesting. But this game is a classic and holds a dear place in my heart, so I figured I should play it. Really, these first levels are just about making sure you understand the controls and aiming Pep correctly. Also, once we get to level 10, things get a little bit more interesting. Nothing substantially, like, changes, but there's a little extra thing. Also, getting a super high combo is really cool. Like, it makes you feel very good to get a super high combo. Of course, because Peppa bounces off of all the balloons, it can be very hard to combo balloons super well. Alright, level 10, last level in this world. So it seems like a fairly standard level. Woohoo! That was a good combo. If you can get above 5, I count that as a good combo. Alright. We want to pop this balloon. Uh-oh. Okay, I don't think we're going to get the special thing then. Because when we pop the last balloon... I said, when we pop the last balloon... Spaceship appears. If you can destroy the spaceship, you go to a bonus level. Unfortunately, we are not that lucky. I think I'm going to take it one world per video, so that's where we're going to end the episode off for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie, and if you tune in next time, we're going to beat the second world. We're actually going to Car Town, everybody. Have a great day, and God bless.